when I was a teenager and decided at 17 to go and live in Israel, I had worked on a kibbutz. And when you work on a kibbutz, you only have one day off a week. And on that one day off, I had taken the bus to Haifa and spent um, oh, half of the afternoon there and then had gotten on the bus or tried to get on the bus to come on the way back. Well, I got on the bus and I got the last seat on a bus that had been commandeered by all of these um, IDF conscripts. Well, about 20 minutes into the bus ride, the bus driver stopped and there was a woman who was by the side of the road at the bus stop and she was very old and she was carrying a bundle and she got on the bus and she began to teeter. She was carrying this bundle and I happened to be sitting in front and I reached over to hold on to her to be sure that she wouldn't fall over. Well, as I did that for that second, I looked in her eyes and then I looked around conscripts that were in there, all these young men who were just strapping and beautiful and um, I was waiting for one of them to get up and to give this lady a seat and it didn't happen and I waited another beat and then I got up and gave her my seat she held my hand and she said Sukran 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 and the bus was quiet and all those young men looked at me as if I had done something that I shouldn't have done. And I ta turned to the bus driver and I asked him, what does Sukhan mean? And he said, thank you. It means thank you. And it was so simple. And it was something that really affected me deeply. And I needed to make sense of a seemingly unsensible situation that really became why that's really the reason why I'm involved in interfaith work, mm -hmm. to try to make sense of what's seemingly not a sensible way to treat one another. Wow. Well, I think one of the benefits of working with URI is the idea that it really comes, that, 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 that the, the geniuses and the talents and the skills come from the grassroots and it comes upwards from the grassroots and folks who are on the ground around the world who really want to make a difference have a hands-on opportunity to do that and I think that that drive really is makes URI different than other organizations and I think that that's why so many people around the world are involved millions around the world are touched by the work that URI does because everyday people who are filled with extraordinary love and compassion and respect for the other are granted a vehicle to do that. And that's what makes URI different and unique. Some of the strengths that I bring to URI is um, years of experience in designing interfaith and intercultural programming. And I have done that um, throughout the U.S. and Canada. What it's done is it's, I, it's twofold. One is really it's taken, it's the brand of URI. It's taken URI out into the community and has really shown its relevance, has really given, it, given its relevance kind of um, a run for its money. And that's one of the things that I've enjoyed about the programming that I've done. And the other part is also allowing members of cooperation circles who have, who have geniuses and skills and have vision uh, for what they see, taking part and then, and, and, and adding their, you know, adding their special signature to a program that's already in process. And that's, that's good because then we're working collectively in a, in a positive way and URI is working for everyone not just the leadership, but it's working for everyone. And that's the goal. That was URI's ultimate goal, right? Yeah. For us to be working together, tending to the human family. I think I'd like to tell people that uh, we've grown the network 
that we have allowed ourselves to really keep our ear to the ground as to what was what's needed in community. Right. Just as we did in the last four years when we saw that we had challenges with Islamophobia here in the United States, we we rose to those challenges. The focus is to bring together like minded organizations that have a deep and abiding respect for the other. Now, social justice organizations, interfaith, intercultural, no matter what they are, those that have a those organizations that have that as kind of working in their in their in the spirit of that you know that we've got a natural marriage to these groups. And URI is building a network, building on that network. network. And I think as we do, we'll, we'll, we will begin to grow for the next four years and beyond.